Welcome back uh, to Pritchard Associates here. We, we have uh, an outstanding group with us here. We're just so excited to have the new Moria Academy on the line. <laughs> and this is great to have you on our show. My wife and I are very excited. Uh, we have uh, 80 years of education and we know a good school when we see one. Mm -hmm. We know good teachers when we see them. We know do, uh, good principals when we see them and board members and community workers and the curriculum specialists. So we're not just sitting on this TV show trying to uh, talk about something that we know that's not true. Uh, this is an outstanding program. Mm -hmm. I'm just so proud of the fact that we have a high school in the city that's relevant to educating our children. Mm -hmm. yes. And that is important to us. And so when we go around uh, to different schools and particularly your building, we've been in there all year. So, you know, the newspaper article, as far as I'm concerned, was totally wrong. We're in the building. This is not, uh, we're witnesses to the educational programs that are going on in your building. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're outstanding. And I also want to say that we are very pleased with the behavior of those youngsters, the respect that they show us. When my wife and I walk up those steps, they open the door. Wow. They say, hello. I don't know a lot of those young people. But they see the old man coming and they open that door for me <laughs> and that makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Take a long time getting up there. When I get there, they open the door for me. But so I just think that, you know, that's important because a lot of times people never get a chance to tell you things like that. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know, give you your roses so you can, can smell, smell, smell them them. now. Mm -hmm. And I want those young people to know when you see them that they are doing a great job. They did a great job Thank this year, but it was because of your leadership, mm -hmm. because of the school board. You know what I'm saying? It's because of the curriculum specialists, mm -hmm. all of your staff, your custodials, everybody, secretary. And another thing, when we walk in that building, when I go to the doctor and I look at that secretary or that receptionist, I can tell what the day is going to be like with the doctor. And so I want to do a shout out for Pat. I don't know how to pronounce oh, her last Pat name. Yeah. She always is so <laughs> friendly when I walk in. <laughs> My goodness, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you know, uh, Mr. Clark is tied up. Could you have a seat? You want a cup of coffee? That makes the school. Mm -hmm. And please tell her that when you see her, mm -hmm. that she starts we'll my do. day off. We'll do. Because when I see that, that lets me know mm -hmm. you're doing great work in that building. Thank you. And I just, I think I need to say that. But I'm going to turn it over Thank to you. the doctor here. Mm -hmm. she, she <laughs> well, I think it would be good. And we're glad to have you on. And I think it would be good to give them an opportunity to share some of their thoughts. I know mm -hmm. you've been busy all day, but yes. often you have those who might not have seen your messages or, or heard mm -hmm. your messages right, right. early on. So mm -hmm. please uh, take this opportunity not only to introduce yourselves, and, but uh, to let the viewing audience know about the new Moyer Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Uh, You're quite welcome. Mr. Pritchett's been a great friend and a mentor. I can call him any hour of the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And get and get advice. I really, really appreciate. It. We've been friends for over 20 years. You uh, it? <laughs> <laughs> at, the, uh, at the New Moyer Academy, we're in the process of really, really uh, turning the school mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. Our scholars are doing a great job. Yes, we've had uh, over 30 percent growth during the 2012-2013 uh, school year, and we're looking forward to more, much, much, much more growth and productivity out of our young people. The young people that we have uh, at the New Moyer Academy, they're respectful, they're ethical, and they are very, very productive. And it's an honor and a privilege for me to be their principal. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. I'm on the board. I was on the original board, and I'm really proud now to be on what is con is considered our new Moya Academy. Yes. Uh, I love our campus. Uh, I like the feel of it. Um, it smells like scholarship. Yes, <laughs> it yes. looks like scholarship. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about great staff and that kind of thing. And you're quite right about Miss Pat, but also our custodial staff oh, is absolutely. really good. I love absolutely. that custodial staff. Nice as they can be. They are. Yes. They yes. really, really are. Yes. And uh, we would just say, uh, give us a chance. Come and see us. Uh, we're an academic safe haven. We're doing well. We're going to do even better. And we're going to give those children who normally would not have a chance because of their zip code, because of the color of their skin, yes. because of what people expect them to be, they're having a chance to be 
as our curriculum specialist is going to tell you, world-class scholars. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Ms. Coker. <laughs> uh, my name is Monique Chadban. I'm also on the board. I've been on the board for about two years now. Okay. And I really am proud mm -hmm. of the progress of Moyer Academy. When, yes. I, when I first joined the mm -hmm. board, we were in the midst of some serious transition. Mm -hmm. Um, but we, we have made, you know, huge strides uh, in advancing right. the proficiency of our, our scholars academically as well as the culture of the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a, a blessing to have a campus like that mm -hmm. yes. uh, in, in the middle of a community um, that is so underserved. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we make sure that we promote those types of resources in our communities because these kids need a safe haven yes beyond school hours okay. and and my goal is is to to make sure we raise the dollars that we need to raise outside of mm -hmm. uh, state and federal funding yes. so that we can provide support mm -hmm. services to our young people to make sure that beyond those school hours and in school sure. hours they have the resources that they need to be a total student Good. And, wow. a, and a total uh, productive young person. Mm -hmm. yes. um, so yeah. we're, we're not just, you know, teaching for tests right. um, mm -hmm. and, and developing for tests, but we are focused on making sure our, our, our young people are mm -hmm. proficient in those core areas, but we want to also make sure they are well-rounded right. and productive young people. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're doing a good job Thank of that. You. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, my name is Leonard Young. And uh, I have the privilege of uh, working with the students as far as recruitment yes. and uh, retention, as well as playing a part in the uh, community engagement. So, you know, one, one of the big things that we're looking to do for the upcoming school year that we started last year as well is, um, I, I guess, a, a, a threefold effect. But one, you know, we definitely want to get the students involved in some of the community service events we're doing. Um, yes. You know, I think one thing we can all agree on is that as the students take pride in serving the community, yes. you know, they also, you know, take pride in themselves, yes. you know, the teachers, the staff, um, you know, the educational values. Um, as far as the parents, we're also looking to get the parents involved as well, because we all know that, you know, students can do a lot, but it, if they have the support of their parents, you know, you know, some, sometimes the, the limit, well, sometimes it's limitless you know what they can do and then the third we, we really want to get the community involved so mm -hmm. some of the programs that we're going to be working on are going to be things that that benefit the community as a whole so we, we've talked about having some employment resource resources type uh, workshops such as maybe resume writing you know job skills um, we're also looking to open our doors to the community and you know maybe hear what some of their suggestions are you know things that we could do to really help them benefit so, um, you know, just all in all, you know, we are looking to make Moyer a part of the community, you know, yes. something that the community can be proud of, you know, around that 16, 1700 block of, I'm sorry, 600 Six, block yeah, yeah, of uh, 17th Street. Yes. Um, you know, along with that, we, we really want people to know that <clears throat> Moyer Academy, um, you know, is tuition free, mm -hmm. free transportation throughout Newcastle County. So anyone who lives in the Newcastle County area you know, we can make sure we have transportation to get them there. Um, went blank for a second. But, uh, you know, all in all, you know, more, yeah, more, more your Academy is um, definitely a viable option. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow we do have an open oh, house yeah. for, you know, students who may be interested, parents who may be interested. And really, we just want to invite them down to really get firsthand knowledge of what Moria is doing. You know, I, I think it's easy to to listen to what other people say, but maybe you haven't been there yourself or, you know, what you read in the paper or, you know, hear say. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we really just want people to, you know, give us a chance to kind of like Miss Coker says, you know, show you who we are and what we can do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My name is Alana Walls, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Director of Curriculum at the New Moyer Academy. And in my role, I get to provide service to my favorite people, the young people. <laughs> and my job is to make sure that they are fully prepared to enter into the world of work and yes. be successful in whatever career they choose. Uh -huh. They're going to be not just eligible, but ready for college so that they can succeed and graduate with honors. Mm -hmm. uh, we are making sure that the curriculum is properly aligned with the Common Core Standards, which is really just saying that we need to do 
the best teaching uh -huh. possible and make sure that our students don't have to ask, when am I going to use this? Okay. What is the purpose of this? We don't want them to have to ask because we're going to show them up front okay. how what they're learning applies beyond the four walls of the classroom, how it applies to the real world, uh -huh. and open their eyes to various career opportunities. Mm -hmm. And um, just as Ms. Beebe said, I, I have one goal. <laughs> and, and, and I've been talking about my one goal all day long. <laughs> and my one goal is to make sure that we produce the most positive, right. the most powerful, and the most productive 21st century learners and global citizens, catalyst for change that you would have ever seen. Yeah. There may be um, some misconceptions about what a young person can do who is coming from Wilmington, mm -hmm. just because of their zip code, the color of their skin, mm -hmm. how much money their parents mm -hmm. might have, if there's a mother and a father in the home, whatever it may right. be. Mm -hmm. But we're about to change what those statistics say, and we are gonna prove to the world that the best and the brightest are yes. coming out of Moyer Academy because we are going to produce top notch, like she said, worldwide <laughs> leading scholars. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. We do, uh, you know, support Moyer Academy. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think that, you know, it's made tremendous progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I would just say this too, and I hope it doesn't, you know, come out the wrong way, but I'd like to. Uh, uh, congratulate the visionaries who decided to open up Moyer Academy. Yes, uh, uh, with absolutely. Reverend Maurice Moyer. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that uh, uh, Theo and those mm -hmm. who who mm -hmm. had that vision mm -hmm. uh, to open up that school deserves a lot of credit. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. And uh, so yes. I think you know I want to give a special shout out to to uh, Theo and any of the other uh, individuals who helped to open up that school. Right because it's mm -hmm. open it's going to stay open it will not close that's mm -hmm. right and great things are happening there and so you know progress starts from whatever year it opened to where it is now that's right and that's right. that you have to look at it that mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. and that's included bank off when i was the principal uh, it things this you have to work on it's not going to happen overnight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. takes years uh mm -hmm. to make a legendary school mm -hmm. and to leave a legend of, uh, of, of information that children will understand. And to me, the best selling card for any school are the children. Mm -hmm. They're your ambassadors. Mm -hmm. So I know you were saying a lot of events you're planning. Uh, my wife came up with, uh, she wrote a program. It's called Student Ambassadors. Mm -hmm. And we've uh, utilized it in uh, Red Clay. And we also did that uh, downstate uh, with uh, Mr. Martin, mm -hmm. who was a uh, principal downstate, and mm -hmm. she wrote that too, along with him. But children sell the program. Uh, they bring in hundreds of parents if you let them. Mm -hmm. And well, you might want to speak on that because mm -hmm. for the last mm -hmm. two years, uh, you've had hundreds and hundreds of parents uh, that come and have dinner with her. Mm -hmm. And she takes those children who are ambassadors, we call them student ambassadors. And, and why don't you speak on that? Well, basically, um, what the purpose of the program is letting the students be the ambassadors. Mm -hmm. That's number one, the ambassadors of their missions, what mm -hmm. it is that they hope to accomplish mm -hmm. and, and, and what their dreams are. And then also the ambassadors to the home. Mm -hmm. um, I know in the educational community, those who are educators, there's so much change that's taking place. Mm -hmm. And often it's hard, especially when you sit in that teaching spot mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that, and I know I sat in that spot for a period of 40 years. And as I got in the, that 39th and 40th year, they were going through the uh, educational reform mm -hmm. movement. And there were a lot of changes that were being made mm -hmm. down at the state. And, uh, and so trying to balance a lot of that information that, that was brought to the table, it, it can be very challenging for teachers. Mm -hmm. And, and so therefore, um, giving the students an opportunity to let them be the ambassadors mm -hmm. to the home and let them begin to tell the parents of what it's like to be a student yeah, and what the good. challenges they face mm -hmm. themselves in school. Mm -hmm. um, and it's nice to see that as we work with, and we've been working with middle school um, people, youngsters, yeah. that uh, as they uh, develop a little pledge for their, for their group, um, the very thing that they said in their pledge, because we know that statistics and research tells us that mm -hmm. uh, parents are very oft 
active in elementary school. Yeah. But then as yeah. they get in middle Older. and high school, they're not there. Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. very thing the students said in the last line of the pledge is that parents, we want you by our side. Mm -hmm. So even though research shows that the parents are there and then a lot of times students begin to shy away, their, la their comment lets you know that they still need parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that the parent is uh, an important part as they move from elementary mm -hmm. to middle school mm -hmm. and most importantly in high school because that's where I spent most of my career uh, at the high school level. There are so many new things mm -hmm. and young people need to, to understand what's happening, what's taking place. There's a lot of fear, they're not certain, especially as they get close to yeah. their senior year, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. How am I going, what place will I have in this uh -huh, world? Uh -huh. And so they know, need to have that comfort coming from the home, that support coming from uh -huh, the home. Uh -huh. You know, someone that they can turn to, to know that yes, they're there in their mission uh -huh. of trying and quest to find out answers, uh -huh. that they are not alone. Uh -huh. And it's good to have, you know, that educational staff also, yes. uh, giving them the hope to begin to accomplish uh -huh. the dreams that lay you know in their hearts yes. the mm -hmm. things that they want to mm -hmm. want to do so mm -hmm. we're we're thankful for you for Moyer because there is uh, an area of need that you are meeting mm -hmm. because our our you, our population that we serve are quite diverse mm -hmm. and you are there or to meet the needs of a certain population mm -hmm. And, uh, and it's good to see that here you are out here and, it, and it's summer mm -hmm. and it's on a Sunday evening. <laughs> but, you, but you're here yes. as a part of your mission, realizing yeah. that it is your scholars yeah. that you're concerned about. So this, your, your president is a, that's a testimony yeah, to that, yeah, you know, to that yeah. fact mm -hmm. that you've been here all day to let, uh, let the uh, viewing audience, to get mm -hmm. them to be, so that they're knowledgeable. Because mm -hmm. parents need that knowledge. They mm -hmm. need to know that, uh, about the changes because children are being educated much different from how oh, yeah. the parents were educated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's good that they see you, they see the faces now, and now they know, mm -hmm. and you have uh, also welcomed them by saying, come, you know, oh, come yeah. see. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's good. Breaking down those barriers, yes. and, that, and that is so important in education, to, to remove those barriers mm -hmm. just by your comments, just by your presence. So I commend all of you uh, for Thank what you. you're doing because mm -hmm. like I said it's summertime and most of the times yeah. the, do the doors are closed right. to schools and people are off on vacation and, think about the yeah. and, and not thinking about the children mm -hmm. but here we see you are here mm -hmm. thinking about your scholars. I thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I think you all would have been even if it wasn't a newspaper article mm -hmm. because it's <laughs> time for school to get yeah. ready open right. yeah. and you have to sell the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, uh, you know, sometimes negative things bring about positive things. Right. That's right. Yes. That's right. So yes. that's, that's, you know, something that's good. And so for any parents and particularly the, the uh, viewing, audience, uh, viewing audience parents, we want you to know that Moyer is a great school. Yeah. Uh, you, you talk about uh, busing and you don't want your kids bust all over mm -hmm. uh, Newcastle County. Well, you have a high school. It's right there on mm -hmm. 16th Street. Mm -hmm. And you need to take a look at it. You need to get involved. And more importantly, come over and meet the staff, meet the mm -hmm. principal. And I'm telling you, you know, there are great things happening in that building. Mm -hmm. I know that for a fact. I'm a witness to what I've had to see all year. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I think it's, it's really going to be something for you to take the time to come to the open house uh, tomorrow night mm -hmm. and to see the school. Mm -hmm. uh, what time is the open house? What time is it? Yep, so the, the open house tomorrow from 4 to 7. Mm -hmm. Oh, 4 to 7, okay. Yep, and I just want to add, if there's anyone who can't make the open house, they can give us a call at any time to schedule an appointment. And Google, yeah. um, and, and majority of the time, they can just come up to the school during the summertime as well. Right. You know, we're, oh, okay. we're there, we're ready mm -hmm. for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know what, I just want to say that uh, we are about the business of making sure that the most important quote, and I don't mean this in a negative way, the most important tool in our institution uh, is well taken care of, well prepared, and continuing to develop, and those are our teachers. And I kind of wanted you to hear a little bit of what Alana Walls uh, might uh, share with oh, you okay. about the continued uh, professional development of teachers that's in her plan. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. Go right ahead. Uh, so some of the things that we're planning on doing starting this summer um, is making sure that one, the teachers are well versed 
in the, um, the, the changes that are coming with Common Core, making sure that they mm -hmm. um, are able to plan um, the highest quality units of instruction and lesson plans. Um, it's important that they're utilizing best practices okay. um, by using strategies such as response cards. Mm -hmm. There's research that's proven that if teachers are using response cards for about 30 minutes a day, mm -hmm. that students have an opportunity to engage in more than 3,700 additional mm -hmm. responses um, throughout their classrooms. And when you think about the number of times when you're sitting in a classroom and you're raising your hand, sometimes you're called on, sometimes mm -hmm. you're not, by the use of response cards, every child is responding. Mm -hmm. And if you think about being able to respond, 3,700 more times in a school year, <laughs> think about the, the increased level of engagement. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to make sure is happening, that our students are not just excited and engaged, but they are learning things on a whole nother level, mm -hmm. that they are curious, that they are challenging each other, and that they're challenging the teachers. Mm -hmm. um, this is a place where that is welcome and encouraged, because when students are able to um, appropriately challenge their teachers on ideas um, and the and, and different principles and theories that's when you know there is amazing learning going uh -huh, on uh -huh. I expect to see uh, the teachers working together to plan integrated units um, so that they're not thinking that math only happens in the math classroom as a as a pre, as a previous math teacher that was one of my goals because as a kid I didn't like math but I had this teacher who made math so interesting and so exciting and I figured if somebody could do that for me yeah. then I most definitely could do that for someone else and it's important that they see that math is relevant in English and language arts it's relevant in social studies is relevant in science and same thing for all the other curriculum mm -hmm. areas and we will also be integrating in character education because it's important that our kids are not just smart and able to problem solve critically, but it's also important that they are good people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mr. Clark talked about the fact that we want our kids to be respectful, yeah. ethical, and productive. Mm -hmm. right. And the best way for that to happen is one for us to initially be the models of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need to show them what that looks like. Yes. And that goes to how we speak to our children how we speak to our scholars. And that's one thing that we're actually gonna be changing. And you see, I, I, I had to catch myself there. Right, right, um, right, because right. we wanna make sure that they understand the expectations that we have of them. They may not feel as though they are scholars today, but they are definitely gonna feel like scholars when they leave. Yeah. And they're gonna understand what that means. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna understand that they belong at the nation's top universities and colleges. Other things that we're going to be doing this year, um, I'm going to be working with the teachers to better understand the, the data that yeah. they're getting in their mm -hmm. classrooms. Mm -hmm. yes. And you I hear about it. data yes. all the time, yeah. Yeah. but it's about really just looking at every little piece and overlapping Analyzing. different multiple yeah. measures of data so we can dig deep into root causes sure. and make sure that we are providing targeted support right. and individualized support for every single child. You often see in a lot of schools, the only students who have an individualized plan are the students who have been labeled as special education right. students. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna find that at Moyer, at, I'm sorry, at the new Moyer, Moyer. Academy, <laughs> yeah. that every single child is gonna have an and individualized plan, plan. Right. because everybody learns differently and everybody deserves to have the personalized education that's gonna allow them to reach his or her goals. Now, that doesn't mean that we're only gonna utilize that student's strengths. I'm gonna be working with the teachers to help them to understand how they can use the strengths of the students mm -hmm. to improve the areas uh -huh. that may be at this time weak for them. Uh -huh. So we don't have to have students who continue to struggle to be, um, to be learners um, in an auditory format because the reality of the world is that they're going to have to learn no matter how the information sure. is presented. Right. When they go to college, That's nobody's right. going to care that they prefer mm. to, um, to be hands-on. Right. They're going to know that they can, they can learn in any way. They will not be intimidated. They will never feel inferior ever again. Mm -hmm. yes. And if that is the only thing that they get out of this, then that in itself is a huge thing because right. that confidence that they are going to develop in themselves yeah. is going to propel them to do so many great things in the future. Um, so we have a lot of great things planned for the teachers um, and for the students because 
while I am directly working with the teachers, I have to make sure they are well prepared so they can deliver that excellent education for my students. Yes, well, okay. those are some, well and uh, I yes. appreciate that comments. I yes. heard you talk about data, formative assessment, right. which is That's your right. response, and all of these are key things mm -hmm. in the educational community today that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we thank all of you for thank coming you on so this thank evening, you for and. Uh, Parents, please keep that in mind about the open house. Uh, those of you four in the viewing seven. audience, mm -hmm. four mm -hmm. to seven tomorrow. And we thank our guests for this evening. And any closing remark, Mr. Pridget? Well, you know, I'm just excited to have them here. And with the legendary B.B. <laughs> Coker on the show, oh, this, Lord, this, Lord, this is one mercy. tape I will keep. <laughs> you know, old it. is bad. <laughs> God, <laughs> legendary. We Woo! thank you for those closing remarks. And to our viewing audience, take care.